Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and happy Merry Christmas to everyone around the world, or happy holidays to whatever you celebrate. This is just kind of an overall blanket Christmas thing. It's still all the same feeling at the end where everyone is coming together and being all cohesive, but I figured for Christmas I would record something and give it to you all, and I want to help out a little bit as I normally do on this channel, but it's not going to be Xbox related. Instead, I am going to be giving you all the gift of a fast computer, so this is primarily I'm going to be using this on Windows on my PC, but I'm going to be showing you all the things that I do and the things that I install to speed up my PC, make sure everything is in tip top shape, and stuff that will keep you protected, all that good stuff, and you will never have to go to Best Buy again. In fact, you're probably going to be better than Geek Squad by the end of this video. Anyways, very first thing I want to show you is Ninite right here. Now, in case you don't know, Ninite is one of the greatest services ever. I will put the link down in the description, but instead of going in and installing every single program you have separately, you can just select whatever you want here. But you might be asking, Mr. Mario, I have all the programs I need. I don't need this. Well, I'm going to convince you otherwise. If you already have programs on here on this list that you have on your computer, you can check them and still make a custom EXE file that you can run later, and it will automatically go and check for updates for all the programs you have installed already. So normally what I do, I'll go ahead and check what I normally do. I have Chrome, Firefox, Skype, let's see, VLC, anything else here. I use Audacity, Spotify, of course, all the runtimes. I always check these. And then over here, let's see, I always do Reader. I use a vast free, this is the free version. All you have to do also is register this. You can register this antivirus with a bum email address and it will still work fine. I use Malware Bytes. That's definitely one of the best things out there uh, for coding. Yeah, I do Notepad++ just to have it on. Dropbox is always a good thing to have. Steam. KeyPass is great as well. Uh, in case you don't know, KeyPass is actually a program that you could use that you could build your own database that is encrypted and all that, and then you can house all of your passwords there. It's very convenient. Of course, Team Viewer, which is for remote desktop, Image Burn for burning, OsLogix is the best defragger you will find. It is amazing. WinRAR, 7-Zip, I put also on there as well. TerraCopy replaces, you can choose to have it replace the Windows copier and Trust me, you want to get it. It's the best program that you've never heard of. Revo Uninstaller, it's a great uninstaller. That actually allows you to go in and uninstall programs completely, so pull out the registry keys and all that as well. They leave any fragments like that. If you have Windows 8 and you really don't like the whole Metro interface, I recommend getting Classic Start. I'm not going to get it just because I have Windows 7, but Windows Stat is also really great if, let's say, you're like me and you have a solid state and a hard drive, and there's some files that are clouding up your solid state, space that you really don't know where they are or where they're located. You could end up reorganizing them onto your hard drive or vice versa. So you can go ahead and pick all those and all you need to do here is hit get installer and you'll download your custom exe file right here. Now I already have one right here that I made and this one is just for my run times and such but what this does is you can double click it, run it, and if it asks for admin permissions just go ahead hit yes but as you can see it goes and sees what programs I have that are up to date and if there's some that needs to be updated it will update it for me or if I do not have it installed it will uh, still install it for me and do everything from there. And there we go, we're already done updating my runtime. So as you can see I needed Shockwave and Air which aren't used too often but I go ahead and install all the runtimes anyways. So that is is the best program installer you can get. Literally, you run the exe file and then you can just go wherever you want. Or you could stay on your computer and have it run in the background. But I'd still recommend keeping it just because it's a very, very, very great updater to have on hand. Now, the second program I recommend downloading is CCleaner right here. This is another absolutely free program. All you need to do is go to the link I provide you, hit download, download right here, just the free version, and from here, you could download a copy of it. Now, once you install that, you're gonna have a screen that looks like this, and when you first boot it up, it might ask you a question saying, are you sure you want to delete files and such? Go ahead, hit yes, and I will warn you, when you run this, it is going to go through and delete your internet history, all that good stuff, unless you wanna option it otherwise. I'm going to go ahead and have it run everything right here. So on your cleaner, what you want to do is hit run cleaner and it might depend, it depends on how long it takes and if you've ever done this before. Sometimes it can take anywhere from three seconds to ten minutes depending on your computer and such. But we're just going to go ahead and let it run through right here. 
Now, as you can see, I've removed about a gigabyte of data right here, and it just goes through and removes all your temporary files, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and run the cleaner again. Normally, what I like to do is just keep running it until there's pretty much nothing or little to nothing. The thumbnail cache right there, there's nothing we can really do. Next, what I wanna do is go ahead, go to the registry cleaner, and keep make sure everything is checked. From here, you're gonna do scan for issues, and from here, it goes in and checks to see all of the things you have that are messed up with your registry, and then you can then delete the keys or clean them up and you should be good to go. So once you're done right here, as I was talking, you wanna go ahead, fix selected issues. I don't make backups to the registry, but fix all. And then just do the same thing. Just keep running it until there's nothing here. See, already we have all this extra stuff right here. Now again, we're just gonna fix selected issues, all that good stuff, and might wanna run it again. And see, we keep getting stuff. So all you need to do is keep running this until it gets down to zero. All right, and now you can see there are no issues found. That's exactly what we wanna see. So we can go ahead, exit out a C cleaner. Now the next step is gonna take the longest, but we are gonna run another other program that we just installed. Now, as you can see right here, I have Auslogic's Disk Defrag. Normally what I like to do is I like to run this uh, either if I'm out of the house or if I'm going to go to sleep. And it does have this nice feature right here where you check this and it says turn off PC after defragmentation. Now, right here, I do not have this checked. And if you have a solid state drive, do not, do not defrag your solid state under any circumstance. You should never do that. However, my data drive right here is a hard drive, so I do defrag that. And what you can do is hit this drop down arrow and hit defrag and optimize slower use once a week. What this does is it goes through and it will defrag your system. And then what it does is it optimizes it. So you see how there's all these blocks right here, uh, all these green blocks that are filled up with space and then all these gray blocks that are empty. It pretty much condenses all the green blocks together so it speeds up your hard drive and such uh, because all the data will be closer together. So you should be good to go. In addition to that, it also defrags your drive so it will be perfect. It's like giving your hard drive a really awesome massage. I'm going to go ahead and just skip on this just because we really don't need to do it now. But all you need to do, as I said, is just do this, defrag and optimize, use once a week. And then from there, you can go ahead and if you want to, just check this and then, you know, have this running while you're going to sleep. Finally, the last thing I like to do right here is run malware bytes. Now when you first open it, I normally go over to update and you want to go ahead and make sure you have the latest definition update right here. As you can see, that's updated. Then you want to go to scanner. Now I'm not doing it now, but I'd highly recommend doing this in safe mode if you want the best results, but you can go ahead, do a full scan or even just a quick scan if you want. And you really don't have to go into safe mode, but I would recommend it anyway, just in case there's any troublesome programs that you can't remove or anything bad. But uh, you can go ahead and do that. I normally do a full scan, hit that, let it scan, and then usually let it sit for anywhere from like 15 minutes to an hour. That's normally about how long it takes. But this will clean up any malware you have, and this is the best anti-malware, anti-adware program I've ever run in with. Now, you really don't have to run this unless, honestly, you feel like there's something wrong with your computer because let's be honest, if you have malware or adware, you're going to know, but it doesn't hurt to run it anyways. But that's it really. Those four things, Ninite, C Cleaner, Auslogix, and Malware Bytes, along with the other programs I mentioned, uh, these are the main ones I want to guide you all through, but that is really what I do to keep my computer clean and running fast and all that. So I hope I can help you all out. Again, happy holidays to everyone around the world. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking by and I'll see you all in 2014. Thank you.